boy yo got it, Mr. Paris King. Just the eight of some bands in the leap at you. Let's let's do this for the ladies, right? Turn the music down a little low. Yeah. Um let's say it's a girl out 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 now. How could a girl get your attention? Uh she multiple ways. I mean, one you of course you could just be bad. Okay. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Or you know, you just have a good personality, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping like she ain't just gotta have no money and shit or none of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't mind tricking. Uh, I don't call it tricking. Okay, what to me a mean? trick. To me, a trick is like if you a ten thousand dollar nigga and you go buy a broader a seven thousand dollar bag, you a trick. Okay, because you you spend it beyond your means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He has a lot of money, you know so what he's mean? not no okay. trick. If you if you I mean you if you break it down, if you're a thousand dollar nigga and you buy a gal a seven hundred dollar bag, it's still okay. the same ratio. Uh-huh, behind behind right. your uh, more than your means. Yeah, okay. yeah like you can't means, even yeah. re up. What okay. about a four hundred dollar you know nigga? Mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if four hundred dollar nigga, you need to spend forty dollars. I was I was, I was, told, I, was I was told this today. That's why a girl was like, "Yo, <laughs> yeah. you know, this girl said she fuck with you and you broke off your bread." And I was like, "What, what the fuck that mean?" She was like, "Yo, you tricked on." Her. I was like, "What you mean?" She told me the girl. I said, "Oh, we went on a date. We went to nah, dinner." That ain't tricking. I'm like, "That's tricking." Like that she was tricking. like, "Yeah, but that might have meant the world to her, bitch." I had a good meal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, me and, <laughs> hey, I argue with my little partners about that. Like, you know what I mean? So. I may go to a room that costs five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollar room. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they be like, "Man, why you take a?" Uh-huh. I'm like, "Nah, that's the type of rooms I'm going in." Period. Yeah, right. It don't matter who. <laughs> going that's in. my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah that's part of the lifestyle. It don't matter uh-huh. who going there with me. I'm going to Dolo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna get the ride that way. You, you know, know what I mean? mean? Well, talking about that, there's been like a lot of um, like I've been noticed a lot of like hip hop. Um, stars they've been getting involved with like all this reality shows and shit like yeah. that reinventing themselves doing different things what you think about that man especially with like you know different shows that have been going on we put out vlogs man we feel like that's close as we need to get to <laughs> reality you know what I mean mm. like showing the people how we live mm. how we really doing this shit that's the purpose of putting out vlogs mm-hmm. you know what I mean letting them see behind the scenes of what go on in this shit and we try to show as much as possible so they understand it right you know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know. You know, to each his own. So you would never do like a, a reality show or something like VH1 join or something like that? I mean, I can't. What it'll be about? Okay. I mean, it's the shit. You Money, know, it's, 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 five white like, cars, <laughs> all the, bad bitches. I, I feel like yo. all the shit I can show you that'll be exciting will be criminating. Okay. Let's go a little bit back with uh, Five Star Chick. Yeah. Now, that was like, you know, commercial. It wasn't like the normal Yo Gotti type type thing I think it was but you know what I'm saying you was talking about the regular chick from the hood you know what I'm saying I mean like I'm gonna tell you like Five Star was a song I recorded in my house I bought the beat for $300 wow you know what I mean <laughs> I bought the beat for $300 I knew the beat was a hit Damn. I had the beat for maybe 8 months before I even recorded on I would just ride to it and listen to it in the car every day because I feel like mu- music's supposed to come naturally Okay. I don't force it like I go in the studio and if the, if the words don't come right off the top, fuck it. Shut the studio down. We'll come back tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, we never force in the music. Okay. So, I like the beat, and I would just ride around Memphis with the beat in my car. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? To, and then the five-star chick concept came in my head. That night, I was at home, two, three in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I done the song. You know what I'm saying? I told the labels the song was going to be a hit. And they were like, oh, man. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm telling you, the song be a hit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They like, all right. You know what I'm saying? But I know my music. I know my kind of music. I know my markets. I know I, I get. I'm in the club four, four, five times a week. Yes, sir. I'm dancing in the club all uh-huh. week. I know what people gonna dance to. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So we put the record out. Uh, well, I put the record out. Started working the record and got it to a certain point. A fan of the label came in, started helping us with it. You know what I'm saying? Then they told me the record was over. I said, well, no, it's not. The record just getting hot in the street. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to do a remix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're like, we may well go to the next record. I'm like, nah, I'm going to do a remix. So we going back and forth. I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm going to do a remix, like I said. And they put the remix yeah, out. Yeah, so I put the remix together. Uh, I put Nicki Minaj on there. You know, uh-huh. she, Shout to Nick. Yeah, I put Nicki Minaj on there. Uh, I gave him the remix. You know what I'm saying? I think that was the first, or first song I ever got even played on in New York. I put the remix uh, out. No, Women Lie. Now, Women Lie was after that. Oh, it was after, after that? Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. First song, brother. Yeah, so I put, the, I put that record <laughs> out. And then, you know, 
New York jumped on the record, Philly, shit like that. Uh-huh. They went to call him, yo, you were right. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I was like, well, let's shoot the video to it. They were like, nah, but we, we probably shouldn't shoot the video. What the we fuck? Should land, <laughs> we should line up this next record. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, cool. I hung up the phone, called the video, we shooting <laughs> the video. video. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I, that's just how I move, you know what I mean? Like, like I ain't afraid to spend my own money. Mm-hmm. And that would be independent is all about. Like, a lot of people holiday independent. But you can't be afraid to spend your own money. I agree. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Like, like if I if I only had a hundred thousand dollars and another artist only had a hundred thousand dollars, difference is I would spend, you know, probably close to all of it on music. Mm-hmm. And they were spending on cars and shit. I applaud you because I tell some of these <laughs> new rappers all the time. You got the new fucking Jordans, but you don't got a, a, a flyer for your your home self or, or different things like that. And I never understood that. Yeah, you ain't marketing yourself. I definitely yourself, applaud man. you for that. Yeah. Th- this is something I'm you interested got to invest in. in yourself. I agree. I, this is something I'm interested in, and maybe someone out there is also interested. Can you walk me through the process of you making a song? Now you told you just said that you spend three hundred dollars for the beat. So let's say. Um, somebody sends you a beat and you you could just rap on it or you take care of the business with the person how does that, that whole process work oh uh, if I'm doing a mixtape or well now if I'm doing a mixtape because you know we may get on Twitter anywhere and be like send us some beats mm-hmm. and we we suddenly get so many of them mm-hmm. by the time we get to rapping on them we don't even know who beats they are sometimes uh-huh. you know okay. what I'm saying uh huh yeah so um I just go in there and I, I don't. It don't got to be no no big name producer or nothing. I just think I just judge like that's that's a killer beat or it's not. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We do it if we like it. We try to find out who done the music and we reach out to them. Let them know we want to fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, then y'all negotiate money. Yeah, how we do it? Okay, Shit, that three hundred dollars yeah. is worth it. No, that's Shit. why I'm asking because I, I'm kind of like you know I'm, I'm cooking up and stuff like that, and I I just got to a whole bunch like of beats and I don't want to like get this. jammed up. Look at it like this here. Huh? Holmes may uh, he may you may only get three hundred for a beat, but when you have a record with the success of five star, think about how much money you made. In public. No, I, I had a, I had a talk with uh, DJ Mustard. So, I had a so talk with DJ Mustard. I would give you Mustard. the beat free to get yeah, listen, the, the, the publishing DJ money. DJ Mustard you know I mean? told me that most of the beats he, he told me the most he ever made was ten racks, and I was like, what? Like you did on different rack city, yeah. you did a whole bunch of shit. And he was just like, you know, but I guess on the back end, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know, he'll get he'll get some bread. But well, we you know got I mean? another like another good friend of ours, Memphis native. Um, drummer boy, yeah. and I remember we was having this conversation with him. He was I used like, to buy beats from Drummer Boy, ten beats at a time for five thousand. Yeah, he, he wow. five hundred dollars a beat. We was having uh-huh. this conversation <laughs> you know where, where uh-huh. he said, "Look, you know, I might deal with the label, and you know, I get the PO, whatever that number is." Did before he got on though, but he said, "I might drive, <laughs> I might, I might drive into a Chevron or some shit, and somebody in there told him, yo, you know, I'll go ahead and give you three hundred dollars. I right, give me that money.'" Uh-huh. When I met Drummer Boy, he like he he he, he most definitely had the heat. Mm-hmm. I had to go over his mama house. We used to be in his mama kitchen. He'll give me ten. We, that was the deal. I buy ten beats at a time for five thousand wholesale. Mm-hmm. Wholesale. Wow. So I would buy ten. <laughs> I would like three or four beats, uh-huh. but I knew I had to get six more. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm so I probably still get about thirty drum and uh-huh. beats for the five hundred on ice <laughs> that, I, that I never use. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? But oh, he man. my homeboy, so you know I respect the game and, and shit like that. So we never. You know, uh, uh, do no fast shit with them. Nothing like okay, that. that's a subject. I be watching Gotti's reality show on the vlog, and I seen a little <laughs> remix that you had, and you was playing uh-huh. it on your phone. Yeah, on the oh, check. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, I'm, you, I'm, you I'm on my it. Yo Gotti shit right yeah, now. Yeah, you on it. We got uh, we just did the remix to check with uh, Ross. Mm. I'm waiting on Meek to send me a verse. Wow. Yeah, so this shit, I should have that next day or something. That's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like Gotti a lot of times, man. Yo, Gotti, that is. I feel like a lot of times, like some of these artists who may be more commercially sex- successful, they always come to you to go ahead and really get that get that streets. push in the streets. Get in the streets. I don't know. So, so. I'm hoping. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to be vice versa. Like you know, you go call on that favor. How does that work out with the artists that you you work with? Well, I really I try to rock with with, with the niggas I fuck with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's easy. Like you, if you watch the vlog, I told yeah. you, I sent Ross the, the I sent Ross the instrumental at on my way to Charlotte, probably like four in the evening. Yeah, I had the verse back before I went to the club. Oh, okay. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, like them the type of working relationship I like with niggas. Cause mm-hmm. if Ross sent me a a, a a track to get on tonight, 
I'm gonna go straight to the studio and do it. Somebody pissed mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. Somebody pissed off because they've been waiting three months for a reply. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody Real pissed off right now. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yeah, but you know, that's how we move, man. We hustling. You know what I mean? Niggas respect niggas hustling. Hustling. We understand how we got to get it. Mm-hmm. What about a dude on the come up that wants a feature with you? I know they, you know, it's about a check. Send that bag. <laughs> I, you know, I rock with a lot of upcoming artists. Like, Again, if you got any movement in your area, I fuck with you. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Are we Some getting another right mixtape right before the album? Man, I don't know. I was thinking about that. I don't know. That mixtape that got you the, got now, man. I got the music, but the crazy shit is the, like the, the mixtape we got now is like it's like the shit just cranking up. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like like the life of the mixtape is like yeah. it's just getting. We just shot all the viral videos. We release. We just finna start releasing them. So. I mean, if I if, if it get to a point where I think this one can't carry me to the album, yeah. then we'll put some shit out.